Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be my first ever Sephora haul. I feel like this is a groundbreaking moment. <laughs> this is big guys, this is big. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so you might be asking yourselves, Charlotte, where have you been? and what have you been doing? Because if you're not aware, Sephora actually finally, after years and years of begging, pleading, crying, screaming, throwing up, Sephora actually launched their own website in the UK a few months ago now. It's been a good few months since Sephora UK arrived. Now, if you're anything like me, I have been hankering after Sephora and like vicariously living through my American friends, watching their Sephora hauls, looking Looking at the US Sephora website, <laughs> drooling over the offering, just how many brands they have, how early they get their releases, the Sephora sales that happen, I think it's twice a year, the point system, all of the minis, the samples, oh my, <laughs> oh my. For many, many years, it has been a source of much jealousy to me. And a couple of years ago, Sephora added insult to injury when they banned everyone in the UK from accessing their US website. So we couldn't even just glimpse at it from a distance anymore. We were just fully locked out, shut down, shut out. And it was a sad time sad, sad time. But then for like the 5,000th time, the rumors started, the rumor mill started churning again that Sephora was coming to the UK. The closest we got like years ago now was when actual photos were leaking of like a Sephora branded shop in Westfield in London, like in the mall there, there was a shop that had like a Sephora sticker being applied to it. It was being, it was being opened, it was being prepped and then it just disappeared and it didn't happen. That was years ago. So I was initially slightly taking this with a pinch of salt that Sephora was coming here. It's like, we've all heard it before, we've been burned before and I won't get excited again. But then it was actually announced that Sephora were going to be taking over feel unique. And let me tell you, this had the red flags waving for me. It had the alarm bells slightly ringing because what I want from Sephora UK is the US Sephora. That's what I wanted. And this immediately get, just gave me like red flags, alarm bells were going off that what we're actually going to get is like essentially a rebranded feel unique with maybe a couple of little changes. And that was not what we wanted. We wanted all the same brands that you have in the US, the same availability, the same re early release dates, the same offers, the point system, the sales. That's what we want. We just want it here or just let us shop the Sephora US website and have it delivered to the UK. That's also an option we would have been fine with. So initially then I just started to feel a bit like, mm, I'm reserving my excitement because I'm not sure this is going to be what we want it to be. So I'd say that the fact that it's taken me months to actually buy anything from the Sephora UK website really says it all as to how it's actually landed here. Now, a about two weeks ago, I'm not sure when this video will go up, but a couple of weeks ago, the first Sephora UK actual store physical shop opened. Again, it was in Westfield in London and it was, you know, a big hyped event and it looks like an amazing shop. If I lived nearby, I for sure would go there, but I'm not going to be getting on the train. I'll tell you that for nothing. Because ultimately, Sephora really brought us too little a little too late. At this point, we already had all of the brands that they could offer us within, you know, Selfridges, Harrods, Harvey Nichols, Colt Beauty, Boots, coming out the woodwork to like smash it with the brands they offer. You know, Space NK getting Tatcha at the end of last year. All of those brands that we were like desperate for Sephora so that we could access them already have found themselves within a UK stockist. So what we needed Sephora to bring us was one, the entire ranges and all of these brands in one place, because it's always like, you know, this shop has an exclusive right to that brand and this shop has that brand. So you have to kind of shop around. We want like one place we can go. One, is that just me that likes to do that? I hate having to order from several places. I want to do a giant haul from one place. Can I please just do that? Every 
everything in one place. I feel like that's what Sephora US offers. We also have found that, you know, they still haven't given us like house labs. We still don't have that. You know, they have in theory makeup by Mario, but they don't have his entire line and they never received his huge eyeshadow palette, which was a massive hit for the brand, just never arrived on the UK Sephora. We're still waiting months for Pat McGrath launches to arrive there and we aren't getting the, you know, the early release dates that they do get in the US, we're still missing lots of brands. Really the only brand Sephora brought us here that we didn't already have was their own. Sephora's own collection was literally the only brand that they brought really brand new to the UK. So I don't think that was quite what we were looking for. So yeah, so far I definitely feel like it's been an underwhelming, slightly or fairly disappointing addition to the UK market. I really hope this is just teething issues. What I'm hoping is that a lot of places already had like exclusivity to certain brands. Like for example, I'm sure Space NK had like an exclusive uh, stockist of Tatcha, so therefore Sephora has now come into the UK market. They can't stock it because Space NK have already got in there with their exclusive. So I feel like I'm going to give them like a year to sort that out. Those, you know, dates should expire. They should be able to get those brands in and hopefully everything's going to start working itself out. I really want us to see us getting the point system. I really want to see us getting the sales. And then I can get a bit more on board, but I thought it was time. It's time we did a haul. It's time I experienced the shipping and the packaging and just the whole vibe of Sephora UK. And I'm here to share my first haul with you. So without further ado, let's get on with opening this box, shall we? Now, the first thing to say is this is how my haul arrived. I don't know if you can tell, the box was very, very squished. It's very, very flimsy. Of course, it has the iconic stripe pattern inside, which I was pleased about. But this is how my order arrived. There was no packaging. There was no you know, poppy paper, no bubble wrap, no tissue paper, no nothing, just the items shoved in a box. So I will say, <laughs> first impressions was not great. But let's take a little look at what I got. So first up, I ordered the TG Bedhead Hair Stick for Cool People. <laughs> That's me. I've seen this all over TikTok. I've seen people, you know, doing a bun and then just getting this little stick. Oh, it's a twist off. <laughs> Come on, dear. So yeah, this is a like push up stick situation and you like wipe it onto your hair when you're trying to sort of, well, I mean, you can do whatever you want. What I want it for is like a bun or a ponytail and you can basically slick your hair down using this stick. I've seen it all over TikTok. It looks amazing for those like, you know, you're trying to make it to hair wash day days and you just are trying to make everything look like it's slick and it's supposed to look like that. It's not just super greasy. So that was an instant win. It smells delightful, I'll say that. So I'm hoping this is gonna be like an instant win and a new fave for me. It smells delightful. I'm hoping it's gonna be really easy just to give me, you know, get rid of flyaways, neaten everything up and yeah bingo bongo. The next product I picked up is this Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. Can you believe I've never tried it? Can you believe it? I can't, I can barely believe it, even though I know it to be true. This is not new, it's been around for a very, very long time, but I have never tried it. And if you know me, I'm a big fan of Tom Ford base products. Love their primer, their primer is my holy grail. And of course their shade and illuminate foundation is my holy grail all time favorite. I also love the soft matte foundation. So I thought, you know, I this is the only foundation or the base product from Tom Ford that I've never tried. I need to get involved. I need to get on it and just give it a try. I hear really good things. Lots of people love it. Lots of people's favorite product. I'm not a big, stick kind of girl doesn't smell of anything in case you were wondering like me I'm a sniffer what can I say a sniffer so yeah I thought it was high time I tried out the one product that I haven't from the Tom Ford base collection <laughs> and see if it was also going to be an instant favorite. I do appreciate that a stick is gonna be really easy to travel with. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with it, whether I like it as much as the others. Next up, I picked up a Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is a mascara I tried years ago when it first came out and I loved it, really, really liked it, but then it just didn't stand out enough to stand the test of time. Other mascaras came along and just knocked it 
down and down and down like my list of favorites. But again, TikTok has been like throwing this mascara in my face to the point where I've wanted to try it again. I've got curious. I've wanted to go back and revisit because I do remember really liking it. I do remember it giving me like a really sort of separated, spiky lash, like defined lash. So yeah, I feel like maybe I wanna give this one another try. So I decided to pick up one of those and do just that. And the next product is from IT Cosmetics. This is their latest variation of their CC serum like foundation. This is called the Nude Glow. It's called a medium coverage skin tint brightening with brightening glow serum with SPF 40. I've tried a few different variations of the IT Cosmetics CC foundations or skin tints whatever they like to call them over the years and it's been a very long time. I did like the original but you know it had that really overwhelming like lemon meringue scent to it and it wasn't the best wearing it was a little sticky it was a little messy it was very high coverage so yeah it wasn't really like a standout to me but I was really intrigued by this one it has very good reviews on the website so I thought you know what I'm curious I haven't really heard anyone talking about this or reviewing this so I thought I I'm gonna do it I want to know is it good I want to know is it better than the old one where are we at in 2023 with the IT Cosmetics CC foundations. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that one as well. Now the final product came in a different box, different delivery altogether, because it's one of those where it was on Sephora's website, this product, but it says it's like fulfilled by the company that makes the product. So it came in a different package and I had to pay for separate shipping as well. So. Mm didn't love that but I will say as a positive it did arrive at exactly the same time same day and this is the nature spell natural and this is the nature spell natural rosemary oil this is like for your hair well it says for hair and body I purchased this specifically to use in my hair I've again TikTok has just taken all my money at the moment but if you are on TikTok and you haven't seen an advert or 400 for this rosemary oil then I don't know how you're doing it but I'd like you to share your tips with me because it's literally all I see like TikTok is just shoving this stuff down my neck at every opportunity and I finally caved and said look okay, I'm gonna buy it if you will stop going on about it I'll buy it or <laughs> just give, show me some cute animals doing something silly or a cat you know falling off something please I beg you but rosemary oil has gone very very viral in the beauty community everybody is raving about this stuff and how great it is for hair health and growth and if you want long luscious locks and you want to get rid of sparse areas or bold areas or areas that you would like to be thicker and to encourage more hair growth even people are using on their brows I tell you Okay, so yeah, they had me intrigued. They had me interested. I have just finished up my whey hair and scalp oil. So I thought I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna decant it because this just comes. This is pre-diluted by the way. You have to use a diluted rosemary oil. You can't use it neat or it will actually give you the opposite effect and perhaps make you bald because it will just be too much. Calm down, you must dilute it. This one is pre-diluted. Hmm interesting scent but it comes with just this nozzle so I'm going to decant this into the previous scalp oil container that I have sneaky as that has like a pipette a pipette ah I just love to say pipette don't you and the idea is that you pipette this around about your scalp before you wash so like I'm gonna leave this in overnight or throughout the whole day before I'm due to wash my hair and apparently it's going to give me Rapunzel looking locks by the end of the day or slightly longer. We'll report back. So there you have it. That is my first ever Sephora haul. It's not life changing. It's not groundbreaking, but it is it is kind of groundbreaking because it's my first ever Sephora haul and I will tell you, I don't mind admitting I was excited to see the stripey box, okay? I've, I've dreamt of this moment. Did it take longer for me to bite the bullet and really want to order from Sephora and for them to offer me something that I couldn't have got everywhere else? Yes, it did. I really hope to see their offering 
improve and excite me more and I am excited to see where the next shops open because apparently they're going to spread like wildfire throughout the UK over the next year so will there be one near to me I don't know will we be doing a video one day of my first in-store Sephora experience I mean I'd like to think so I'd like to hope so but watch this space I guess. So there you have it, those are all of my thoughts on Sephora coming to the UK and my first ever haul. Are you UK based? Have you shopped at Sephora yet? Are you really excited? Have you been disappointed like me or are you just so excited to have the opportunity to shop at Sephora? Or do you feel like they just came a little too late to the party? What are your thoughts? Have you shopped there yet? What was your experience? Let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye.